Alright guys, what's up? Al from It's Androids World here. Today doing pretty much the best ROM review and tutorial ever. Check this out. That's live wallpaper. Um, this is Android 2.1. It's basic. It has a lot of Android 2.1 internals, but it is Android 2.0.1. So let's go ahead and take a look at the lock screen. Here it is. T-Mobile, time, date, toggle, sound on. As you, and off, you can mute your phone instantly. Unmute it. And of course, unlock your phone. You get the Android 2.0.1 um, Eclair launcher, which kind of sucks. I wish it was a 2.1 launcher. And you do get three home screens. As you can see, it interacts with your touch. These are live wallpapers. Look how cool that is. So it actually keeps moving in the background. You can probably tell. And as you can see, this still is just my home screen. I haven't changed anything about it. So it's a really cool feature, and it just keeps going. So it has full Android 2.1 applications. It has Car Home, Dock Runner, Custom Locale, Dev Tools, Facebook, Instant Facebook Sync, Gesture Builders. Um, that has Super User Permissions. Comes with Twitter, MySpace, and Facebook. Wired and Wireless Tether. It comes with like the best applications you're ever gonna need. Um, and the notification bar is really nice. It comes down. It says notifications right there, and it's transparent. You can see the live wallpaper still going. Um, it's really, really smooth, and that's one of the things I was so surprised about. This is the very first build with live wallpapers and a lot of the 2.1 fillings, and it's still so smooth. And, yep, you probably guessed it, it's working with camera, which is probably the most amazing thing. They got camera to work. So if we take a picture of my awesome shoes right there, as you can see, the camera's actually working. You can pull up in the effects tab. Um, you can change the color effect. I can put it back to the regular to black and white, to sepia, negative, um, there's also solarize, pesterize, and aqua. So you can actually see everything changing there. It's just really cool. And this is the very, very first 2.0, 2.0.1, or 2.1 ROM to have camera. Now camcorder does not work. You can actually switch to camcorder. But as you can see, if I try to take a video, it just doesn't work. Switch back to cam camera to make it work again. As you can see, it's just not doing anything. But once you switch back to camera, it will start working. So no camcorder, but even the fact that they got camera working is one of the most amazing things yet. So I want to completely, completely congratulate Eugene um, for getting the end commander to work on here. It's just, hands down, the best eclair ROM there is. Um, you do have the new calculator. Looks like it's landscape and portrait. You can just rotate for really, really fast rotation speeds, as you see. Going home is pretty quick as well. Um, the browser is the 2.1 browser, which is really, really nice. As you can see, and let's go ahead and hit the toolbar. Well, first, let's go ahead and show you guys that. You do have the visual bookmarks, which is really nice. I do like having this. And um, you hit the toolbar to search a page. Let's go ahead and load up a pretty big one. We'll go to bbcnews.com and hit go. And let that load up. I just click go. And once again, this is a pretty large page, so it's not going to load anytime super quick. And there we got some content up. And just pay attention to that picture right there. I believe it will change. I believe like like 5% of Flash is working or something like that. 
I'm not sure, but last time I was here, you know, pictures were actually transitioning, which was interesting. So it's done loading now, and I can flick through the browser. As you can see, the picture changed. I didn't click anything. It's still on the actual web page. I can double tap in to zoom in. As you can see, it changes, and you know, I'm I'm pretty sure that's flash content because, as you can see, no multi-touch, but the pictures just change. If you look at it, I'm actually in the browser, still moving around, and the picture's just changing. So that's really cool. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or, but I mean, that's a really cool feature. Um, the live wallpapers is probably my favorite feature of this. Um, there's no multi-touch in this ROM at all. It's just a great ROM. It's it's the quickest 2.1 ROM. You guys know the stock Android features. It has the what I do like is it has the leveled oh fail. I mean, it has the new lock screen, but it also has the leveled search bar. You guys know I always complain about all oh, its it's like up there. It's always like up there on this 1.6 ROMs and now it's back leveled. That's one of my favorite things. It comes with, you know, all the stock widgets. As you can see if you long press and click wallpapers, you can hit live wallpapers. And there's only two. There's the stock cube which just looks like that and it's just a spinning cube that interacts with your touch and um, if you go back there's also the cube resource where you can hit settings and actually select the shape and you can choose cube or the data or whatever it's called I don't even know but yeah that's pretty cool so if I just hit cube I just hit set wallpaper and there you go it's right on my home screen and you can see it in the background so it actually changes direction for whatever I do if I swipe depending on when I do it so it's really cool so you probably want to get this ROM. I know I'm gonna, I've am i been running this ROM on my phone all day, and I'm going to keep it on my phone for quite some time. So unplug the USB cable, and while you do this, go to the link in the description and download all the files. You do need the new latest radio and SPL to do this. And then once it's connected, scroll down to the notification bar, tap USB connected, and hit mount. And then go to your computer. Alright guys, and before we get into anything, you also need to know that... um. To do this, you do, you do need a partition SD card. I have EXT4 at 640 megabytes, Linux swap at 128 megabytes, and um, FAT32. So if you guys want to partition your SD card, watch my video tutorial right here. I'll put an annotation right here, and you'll be able to partition your SD card with that tutorial. You need Aminraz recovery image 1.3.2 or higher. What you're going to want to do is delete any file off the root of your SD card. And then drag over the Eclair 2.1 version 1.5 .zip file, the OTA Radio 2-22-19-26i.zip. Drag that, and also drag the Death SPL. So this is not the Danger SPL. This is the Death SPL. Um, I'm not sure if it's better or worse, but um, you just I know that this SPL works perfectly for me, so recommend you do that one. Once again, that's the. OTA radio 2 underscore 22 underscore 19 underscore 26 I dot zip the clarifier and the death SPL once all of those are done syncing eject your phone and of course then go back to your phone alright guys and so now that we're at our phone unplug the USB cable from the phone go ahead and close the door and the preparing a C card logo should vanish from the top and it's gone so now power off your phone by holding down and call tap power off and hit OK and let the phone power off. Then what you're going to want to do is turn back on using Home and Power and that will boot us into recovery. You can let go now. Once you get the vibration you know to let go. And it will take us to recovery. Now what you're going to want to do is this process exactly guys, you have to do this. Scroll down to wipe, hit wipe and hit home to confirm it. it's the full data wipe. Go back and flash the radio. This is the OTA radio. Hit home and flash it. So the radio does flash pretty fast but I'll be right back. Alright guys, and when it's done it'll say reboot via home and back or menu to complete installation. So hit home and back, it'll say writing radio image. It'll take you to an HTC screen and then take you right back to recovery. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, so it took me right back to recovery just like I said. So now you're going to go straight back to wipe. Go to the full data factory reset and wipe again. Then go back, go to flash zip, and now flash the death SPL right away. This is an extremely fast flash as you can see. And then just hit home and back to reboot. 
Alright guys, and so now that we're back, we've officially flashed the latest radio and SPL. So just scroll back down to wipe and do a full wipe, wipe data slash factory reset. Go back and now flash the 2.1 Eclair ROM. So hit home and let it flash. Alright guys, and when it's done, it'll say install from a C card complete. Hit home and back to reboot. So just do that and wait for the boot animation. Alright guys, and then you'll get the G1 screen. So just tap the Android, hit skip, and make sure you hit skip right now. Tap skip. Hit next, um, and it'll be finished. And now, if you guys want to sign in with your Google account, just tap on Market, and then you can sign in this way. So trust me, you guys do have to do this way. Um, every time I try it the other way, it doesn't work. As you can see, you'll get the terms of service, and then it'll take you to the Google account, and you can set it up right there.